We are only three weeks into the new year and SpaceX has already launched its fourth rocket of the year. A Falcon 9 took off from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station just before 7.30 this morning with another satellite for the U.S. Space Force on board. New 6's Mark Lehman shows us the spectacular liftoff and what's next for the company. Just as the sun was rising, a Falcon 9 rocket blasted into the sky over Cape Canaveral. The launch going off without a hitch, including a booster landing at sea. There we heard the call out that we have uh, that stage one landing confirmed. The cargo, a navigation satellite for the U.S. Space Force. It's the second launch for the military in three days. On Sunday, a Falcon Heavy rocket delivered national security payloads into orbit. The liftoffs are also the beginning of an ambitious launch schedule for SpaceX. After a record-breaking 61 missions last year, Elon Musk says 100 launches is the goal for 2023. That would be an average of nearly two a week. Back in the very early days of the space program, there were lots of launches out of the Cape as they were testing rocketry from the very beginning. But in the last two decades, nothing has equaled this record. Part of the busy schedule, including two big missions with astronauts on board. Crew 6 is on track to lift off to the ISS as early as next month. SpaceX will then target its Crew 7 mission sometime in the fall. Of course, a lot of things would actually need to fall into place for SpaceX to actually hit its launch goal this year. When it comes to crewed missions, there is a third one on the books for 2023. NASA and Boeing plan to launch its first crewed test flight of Starliner to the ISS in April. In the newsroom, Mark Lehman getting results, News 6.